What's up, y'all? As you can see, I'm still out here at the range on this super nice day. I've been doing a bunch of jelly testing, got several more planned, and as you can see by the title on this one, we're going back to another 40 Smith & Wesson test. Y'all are all familiar with the jelly contraption by now. I got the Chrono, got two nice fresh blocks of gel. Now, I've done a couple of tests in this front one up here, a uh, 22 Magnum and a 9 millimeter. I'll leave some links if you hadn't seen that, but we got plenty of clear space, so I shouldn't have any problem putting these 40s into the gel. Now, what we're checking out today is some more Sig V crowns, like I say, obviously 40 Smith and Wesson, the 165 grain V crowns. As you can see, nice nickel plated case with the V crown projectile in it. Now I've done several V crown tests in a lot of different calibers, and pretty much all of them have performed really, really nice. Uh, except maybe for the 45 ACP, if I'm remembering correctly, it wasn't terrible, but it wasn't really nearly as nice performance as some of these other different caliber V crowns. As far as the tools we're using today, we got a couple of Glocks here. We got the Glock 22 or with basically the four and a half inch barrel, and then we got the Glock 27 with a pretty much a three and a half inch barrel. So if you're working with the 23, just split the difference here. You'll be right in the middle of pretty much whatever performance we see out of these two. Most of y'all probably already know by now that I'm definitely a big fan of the V crowns and the other calibers I've tested. So I'm very curious to see what they do in this 40. Let me get all this stuff set up and let's check them out. All right, y'all, let's check out the speeds from these two Glocks. I'm gonna do a three round average out of each one of them. I'm gonna start out with the shorter Glock 27 first. Nine sixty-five. Nine forty-three. And nine fifty-two. So uh, I'm definitely not real impressed by the speeds of that. I can just tell you now. Sometimes speed don't mean everything though when it comes to the jail. Let's go down there and check out that average. All right, so our three round average out of the Glock 27 is 953 feet per second. So that's definitely not moving on out too quick. But well, let me get this reset and let's check out the Glock 22. All right, y'all, here we go with the Glock 22 with an extra inch of barrel. To be honest with you, I don't really think that's gonna make a whole lot of difference, but let's see what happens here. 10.14, 10.23, and 1,009. So it made a little bit of difference, not a whole lot. Let's check the average out. All right, so the three round average from the Glock 22 was 1,015 feet per second. And if you remember out of the 27, it was 953. So you're talking about 62 feet per second faster from the Glock 22. 62 feet per second is not really that significant in my book, but maybe it'll make a difference in the jail. I don't know. Let me get this set up and y'all know what time it is. All right, y'all, it's double crown jelly time. I'm gonna put one round out of each barrel length down there into the jail. We're gonna start out with the Glock Glock 27 first. Not sure exactly where I want to put this. My space is on the bottom, but really don't want to put them both on the bottom, but let's just see what happens here. All right, I think that looks pretty good. I believe I stayed out of that other track. Let's go down there and check it out and make sure. All right, y'all, that was actually perfect placement down there. If I can do my job with this one and go up underneath it, we'll have a nice picture to check out. One thing I can say already is despite the low speeds out of that short Glock 27, from what I can see already, that's some pretty doggone good performance. So let's try out this 22, y'all, and see what it does. All right, that is absolutely perfect. Let's go down there and check it out and see what we got. All right, y'all, let's take a look at what we got down here. So on one on the top here, this is the Glock 27. The one on the bottom is the Glock 22. As you can see, absolutely fantastic wound channel on both of them. As soon as they come in, they start making a huge spiral in action wound channel, carry on in down through the block. The one out of the 27 stops here. It looks like that's around, I don't know, about 12 and a half, 13, maybe 13 and a half inches. The one out of the 22 is probably going be around 12 and a half or so something like that now both of them look like they got 
excellent expansion on them despite the lower speed out of them being a 160 grain projectile that's some pretty impressive expansion now a lot of people are going to want a little bit more penetration in this but one thing you really do need to keep in mind is when you put clothing into the equation it's going to get less expansion on these rounds it's just it's just a fact clothing is going to cause these uh, to expand less which means they're going to penetrate a little more so once you throw clothing into an equation you're probably going get another inch or two of penetration out of these all right so the glock 27 this one actually made it all the way out to 13 and three quarters of an inch so it went a little further than i guesstimated the glock 22 went out here to 12 and a half inches so in my opinion that's that's probably adequate penetration uh, just because of how heavy these rounds are and like i say being bare gel and you got just fantastic expansion out of these things but let me pick y'all up and let y'all get a little bit closer look at the wound channel all right i think i got you at a good enough angle where it's not kind of overlapping another wound channel but this one right here that's that glock 27 that's the main one i wanted to give you a better look at since it was in front of some other ones so as you can see fantastic wound channel mainly i just wanted to show you they're pretty much identical it's a little bit misleading from the side where i was showing you because you saw all this action behind it but very very nice wound channel it carries on down here and then you can see the projectile there opened up really really nice and then again here on the bottom that's your glock 22 fantastic wound action out of that thing carries on down here and you see the projectile there opened up very very nicely all right y'all let's take a look at these projectiles so right here that's the one out of the glock 27 the shorter barrel this is out of the glock 22 the longer barrel and you can definitely see the difference in expansion here as you see this 22 is much more mushroomed out look at it from the side view you can just tell how much more peel back this uh, 22 is so definitely a difference there in expansion uh that being said they both look absolutely amazing as far as expansion goes if you're if you're one of those people who are in camp expansion over penetration this round definitely should make you happy without a doubt as far as material loss on these i don't think it lost not anything at all i don't see a single thing in the jail and neither one of these look mangled up like they lost anything but let's check Check them out so we'll start with the one out of the glock 27 both of them started at 165 that one is 164.8 the one out of the glock 22 is 165 exactly so no material loss whatsoever out of either one of them all right now let's get some expansion measurement on these big old chunks we'll start out with the glock 27 first 680 674 and 680 again so really really nice expansion out of that one the one from the glock 22 you got 734 715 and 718 so absolutely fantastic expansion out of that glock 22 so there you have it y'all another sig v crown test uh to be honest with you once i saw those speeds i was kind of not expecting the best out of them but these things in my opinion performed absolutely fantastic they had some great disruption in the gel absolutely terrific expansion out of them uh and as far as penetration you know they're they're technically within the fbi standards like i said i know some people would like a little bit more just in case you know there's clothing barriers or or you know a, a lateral type of angle that you're taking a shot with so a lot of people would want a little bit more but i think i think these would definitely get the job done without a doubt all right y'all there we have another v crown test in the books and for me it did not disappoint as far as the v crowns in general i would put them in my top five defensive rounds easily i'm always impressed with the performance of these things uh the consistency is always fantastic even with the slower type of speeds that we saw out here now granted that's a 165 grain projectile so I, I suppose it's not terribly terribly slow but even you know subsonic to get that kind of performance that kind of expansion that's pretty impressive in my book but y'all let me know what y'all think about the performance with these v crowns in 40 smith and wesson and just the v crowns in general like always if you did enjoy the video take a second if you would reach down and click that thumbs up button make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification icon that way you can get notified when i upload these new videos check out all my affiliate links down below in the video description you know the deal with the amazon like i tell you every time if you shop through there anyway hit that link up first you go straight through amazon just like normal from there it don't cost you any 
anything extra and anything you buy anywhere on Amazon after hitting that link up, I get a kickback from them towards the channel. So I really do appreciate that. If you're in the market for some really good ear pro, check out those Axle affiliate links. These GS Extreme earbuds, I absolutely love these things. And if you hit those links up first, instead of going straight through their site, you can save a lot of money. As always, I appreciate all my range game members for reaching out and hitting that join button and every single person that supports the channel by watching my videos, hitting that thumbs up, subscribing to the channel, and leave me some comments down below. Like I said, let me know what you think about the SIG V crowns in 40 Smith & Wesson. I'm about halfway through the test I've got planned and more than halfway through the day, so I definitely got some catching up to do. Y'all got a lot of good stuff coming y'all's way, so make sure you stay tuned for that. And in the meantime, stay safe, stay prepared, and I'll see you soon.